How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I have a bag of peanuts over here and I'm gonna try to process this into peanut butter. Why am I doing this? It's because, well, I've never done it before and I wanna give it a try. Now I do not plan to consistently do this because after doing just this much, I realized that this is a lot of work and I've grown a brand new appreciation for buying peanut butter in a jar now. Here's the peanut. Now you can just kind of squeeze it open but if you do this a lot, it might make your fingers hurt. And then you just kind of squeeze it like this and it'll break open. Do you see that little piece right here? If you eat this, it's really bitter. I didn't believe it at first, so I actually ate it. And it turns out it is really bitter and it tastes nothing like peanut butter. So if you put this in your peanut butter, it's not gonna taste very good at all, almost inedible. You can either just kind of, you know, push it like this to push the skin off. Or over here, if it's a little bit too hard, what I like to do is just break it in half like this. Then it becomes easier to remove the skin. Alternatively, I have a garlic press over here. I can just put it in over here, crack it just slightly, just a little bit, and then pour it out. The skin came off, and now I can remove the pit like that. And this is ready. I'll put it in with all the others. I'm looking at this, and it looks like an insurmountable task. I'm not sure if I want to process all this. Uh, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll just leave it here and, you know, kind of do it whenever I have time. But I'm going to try to process this into a peanut butter to see how successful I am. Maybe that'll give me a little bit more motivation to just process the rest of this and never do it again in my life. So let me take this to process it. You just stick this in the can. Great thing about making your own peanut butter is that you know only peanuts is in it. I'm using this handheld blender thing. I've never done this before, but let's give this a try. Okay, don't do that. So maybe I need to cover it up a little bit like that. Yeah, that works, that works. That's just one round of it already. Pretty good. It's actually getting very thick and I can't push it any more down. So I've created some sort of uh, powder instead of butter. Filtered water. Maybe that's enough, just like that. It's probably because it's not roasted. It's kind of light colored. Maybe a little bit more water. Looks like that right now. So let me blend it some more. I think maybe this jar is a little bit too thin. I've transferred it into this bowl. Yeah, this allows me to have a little bit more freedom. And it looks like if I have maybe twice as much peanuts, uh, it would work a little bit better in terms of volume. It looks like a little bit too pasty, so I could add a little bit more water here. It's a bit strange that it's not as dark as regular peanut butter. Maybe it's not roasted, but I'm gonna transfer this in this jar, make some toast, and uh, try this out on the toast. I have some of this power seed bread. In one slice that out of the way. That's what it looks like now. Here's a peanut butter. Let me take, I don't know, a good uh, tablespoon worth of it. Spread. This is going to be slightly chunky because, well, my blender thing doesn't get every little piece, every little corner in order to make it um, super smooth. So peanut butter is supposed to uh, stay fresh um, you don't actually need preservatives or anything, so I can just put a lid on this and it should um, stay fresh just like this. This is just a canning jar, so I'm just gonna put my regular canning lid on it and just keep it like this. So here's my homemade peanut butter bread. Let's give this a try. It tastes like peanut butter, except not as sweet because I didn't add any salt or sugar to it. Not even a little bit of salt. It's just Peanuts, that's the ingredients. Peanuts, blend it up. I would have to say, the commercial stuff tastes better. This is different. 
I might take a little getting used to it. Mainly because it's not as smooth and maybe because there's no roasted taste to it. Maybe I need to use roasted peanuts instead. It's not as sweet as commercial peanut butter, but it's definitely, you know, about 60%, 70% as sweet, which is sort of very surprising to me. Smells of fresh peanuts. This is like very, very different. It's like if you're used to the processed food, then you make completely fresh peanut butter, then it's going to take some adjusting. Uh, you know, you might eat it and go, oh my gosh, this is so much better. But, you know, I have to say, I need to make this smoother in order to um, have it compete. I think in order for me to make it smoother, I can just make maybe two or three times as much um, peanuts. You know, I got kind of lazy, so I kind of stopped short and only have half a jar. But I need to have more so that that little handheld blender thing i can go through more material and i can sit there and blend it much longer just so this whole bag is 4.4 pounds and it costs about five bucks judging from the amount that i used to create a uh, half a jar i can probably create one two three i don't know five or six jars so if you make it yourself oh my gosh i think it only costs you one dollar or less to make one jar of peanut butter. Of course, it takes an immense amount of time and I don't think I'm gonna go around doing this. I'm gonna keep on trying to process these peanuts, trying to find you know easier and easier ways, but I don't think it, it's gonna be able to compete with commercial machinery unless I have some sort of dedicated peanut peeler and um, you know middle thing remover. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this processing of peanuts and um, you know just because of watching this you don't have to and you kind of get a little bit of knowledge from uh creating peanuts into peanut butter without doing it thanks for watching everybody don't forget to give me a like on this video push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon thanks for watching